Hi friends, it's me, Miss K, and welcome back to story time. Now, you're probably wondering, Miss K, you're wearing your jammies. Why are you wearing your jammies? And that's because it's almost my bedtime. So I, but I wanted to make sure that I shared a story with you before I went to bed. Now, I have a great one today. This is another one of my favorites. This is called Groovy Joe Ice Cream and Dinosaurs by Eric Litwin and Tom Lichtenheld. And the reason I love this book so much is because it has four of my favorite things in it. Number one, dogs. I really like dogs. I don't have a dog of my own, but I really want one. But I love dogs. Number two, look what that dog's doing. It's playing some music. I love music. So that's the second reason. Three, ice cream. Ice cream's my favorite food. I love ice cream. And number four, dinosaurs. Oh my goodness, dinosaurs are pretty cool animals too. Now, this book is pretty special to me because you have not one special part, but two special parts. Oh my goodness, two special parts just for you. Now, every time Groovy Joe gets his ice cream, he starts to sing his favorite little song and it goes a little something like this. Love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream. You're gonna sing love my doggy ice cream two times, just like this. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Now, you'll know it's your turn to sing because I will always say, before it's your turn to sing, I will always say, and he started to sing, and then I'll point to you when it's our turn to sing. Let's practice. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And he started to sing. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Now, we know there's ice cream in our story, but we have another word up here too. Can you tell me what that word says? Dinosaur. Oh my goodness, if you said dinosaur, good job. Because we have a part when our dinosaur friends come in. We have three dinosaur friends. We have a little dinosaur, a medium dinosaur, and we have a big dinosaur. A small one, a medium one, and a big one. Oh my goodness. Now, in music, we have this thing called dynamics. And dynamics are when um, the music gets louder and softer. It's the volume, how soft or how loud music can be. And we're gonna use our voices and those dynamics to describe our little, our medium, and our big dinosaur. So when we have our little dinosaur, we're gonna give it a little roar just like this. Roar. Practice that with me and roar. Good job, friends. Now we have a medium dinosaur. We're gonna give it a medium volume, a mezzo forte, so like a medium loud. Ready? Roar. Awesome job. That's kind of like our speaking voice. We have our whisper voice for our little dinosaur, piano. Roar. We have our speaking voice for our medium dinosaur, our mezzo forte dinosaur. Roar! And we have our big dinosaur. We're gonna use our forte voice, so a loud voice. But do we ever scream in Miss K's music room? No, because we don't wanna hurt our voice. So we're just gonna say it a nice, strong vocal dynamic. Are you ready? Roar! Awesome job, friends. And I'll tell you when it's your turn and I'll tell you what kind of voice you have to use when we get there, okay? Now remember, Anytime we are reading stories, no matter who is reading the story to us, we know that our eyes are watching, our ears are listening, our voices are off. Our eyes are watching, our ears are listening, our voices are off. Okay, friends, this is Eric Litwick, Litwin and Tom Lichenfield's Groovy Joe, ice cream and dinosaurs. Groovy Joe saw something yummy. So Groovy Joe started rubbing his tummy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Now Groovy Joe he was living the dream. He had a spoon and a tub 
of ice cream. Okay, it's time for our first special part, sitting up nice and tall. And he started to sing. One, two, ready, go. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Oh my goodness, he dances and sings just like me. Get ready for our first dinosaurs, our little dinosaurs. Remember, we gotta give it a whisper, a piano roar. Here we go, and roar. Oh no, a little dinosaur stomped into the room. He glared at the ice cream and he took out a spoon and he put on a bib and he pulled up a chair. Mm. What did Joe say? Well, Joe said, it's awesome to share. Get ready, it's time for our speaking part. And everybody sang, love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream. Good job, friends. Thanks for singing along. Okay, this is our medium dinosaur, so at our speaking voice. Ready? Roar! Oh, no. A big dinosaur burst into the room. And he glared at that ice cream and he took out a, a spoon and he put on a bib and he pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? Well, that Joe, you know what? He said, it's awesome to share. How nice, what a nice dog. And everybody sang, love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream. Good job, friends. Get ready, this is our last roar and it's our big one, right? Because we're it's our biggest dinosaur, so we wanna make sure we're singing nice and strong at a forte dynamic. Roar! Oh no. A huge, dinosaur smashed into the room and she glared at that ice cream and took out a spoon and she put on a bib and she pulled up a chair and what did joe say It's awesome to share. And everyone sang, love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream. Now, boys and girls, we have another roar on this page. And because it's all three of our dinosaurs, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go from soft to loud. We're going to go from soft to loud. And in music, that is called a crescendo. Say that word for me, crescendo. Love that, thank you friends. When we go from soft to loud. Oh my goodness, let's try it together, okay? And. Good job, but oh no. The tub was empty. The ice cream was through. So those dinosaurs, they glared at you know who. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What can Joe do? I don't know, what can Joe do? What can Joe do, what can Joe, what can Joe do? Well, Joe, he, he turned over the tub and he made it a drum. And Groovy Joe beat out a rum tum, a tum tum. Oh my goodness, he made an instrument. I didn't even think of that. 
And the dinosaurs laughed and they rose from their chairs. They started to dance and they jumped in the air. Then what did you, what did they say? I don't know, let's find out what they said. It is awesome to share. And everyone sang together. Here we go. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. And that, my friends, is the end of our story. Oh my goodness, what a great one. Man, Eric Litwin and Tom Litchenfield, thank you so much for writing this amazing story for us. Wow, what a great story. I am so happy that you could join me tonight for our story time with Miss K. Until next time, bye friends.